Hey, this is the Joe Fix It channel. Not like I fix a whole lot of stuff. I mainly work on Mark II Jetta diesels and whatever else I have in the shop that needs fixing. Well, today, as you can see, we have an Echo CS400 chainsaw. The chainsaw uh, starting rope has finally got soft, rotten, and broke. So today, I'm gonna show you how to change one. You see this thing here? This is called a problem. And this is called the solution. So the first thing we'll do here is pull our air cleaner housing off right there, go to the side. Pull the spark plug wire off right here so the chainsaw can't start. The next thing we're gonna do is flop it over on its side and take the uh, recoil off. And from then on, we'll change the recoil and then put it back on. We'll take the screws out. There's four of them. And the recoil mechanism just pops right off just like that. This is your recoil mechanism. You can see the inside of it. And be careful not to drop your screws everywhere as I do. We're done with this part of the chainsaw, which is the whole chainsaw for now. So we'll take this guy and set it off to the side. At this point in time, we would have the cord out. We would take the knot out and release the tension slowly off of this, but that boat has already sailed. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna snap this little housing off. See this guy right here? We just pull it out. Next thing we're gonna do is take out the starter assembly screw. Lift out the starter cog and the soft start spring. This is the soft start spring and we'll set that to the side. This so will take this screwdriver, set it right there and pull the starter wheel off. The reason you put the screwdriver down here so that little the recoil spring doesn't come loose and fly everywhere. And then we get to have another video on how to recoil the starter spring. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the old one out, uncoil it and dig the rope out. We have our new rope. We thread it through the hole, tie a big old knot in it. I always like to burn the ends of it so it won't come unraveled. Rewind it clockwise with the bottom down and the top up. Spin it around until it snaps down over the, the starter spring. Take your screwdriver and we're gonna tension the spring. You can see how we're doing it. You wanna get at least four to five turns on it. Bring it around, thread it through the uh, hole while you hold tension on it. I get my pair of grips, snatch a hold of that, and that way it can't come flying loose on you. We take our soft start spring. Starter cog's got a little hole there where the end of that spring goes in. You spin it around till it snaps in place. Run your screw down. It holds the assembly in place. We thread it through the little hole. And of course we tie our obligatory knot, take a little fire to it, and that way it won't come unfrayed. There you go. You got it. Make sure it pulls and recoils smoothly, which it does. Remember this piece of plastic cover we had on there? We've got to snap it very carefully to get that in position because it tends to want to like not get quite in position and then you have trouble screwing it down. So we snap it back to make sure it's really even. It snaps right into position. Put our screws in. They use an Allen wrench to put them in, and then we gotta make sure they're good and tight so they don't fall out in the grass when you're out there in your hands and knees in the dirt. Now we got to put the spark plug cap back on. 
Make sure the air cleaner housing is down and put the cover back on. And we are good to go. So if any of y'all ever want to know how to put a new string in there, that's the way you do it. You don't need to take it down to your local shop and pay a bunch of money for somebody to take 10 minutes to do this. You go down to that same local shop and buy the appropriate size string. I bought a three foot section, which works just fine in this. It cost me about 60 cents and we are done. We are ready to go. So if you found this interesting, if you found this worthwhile, if this helped you out, subscribe to the channel, support the channel. Check out my other channel, Joe is Hungry. This channel name is Joe Fixed, and we will see you in the next video. Watch out.